I was having a good day until the press conference of John Harbaugh came on. They asked him if both coordinators are coming back. Wink, we are all fine with. But Greg Roman, this was his answer. Right. As it stands, uh, we do, you know, unless those guys get a late call uh, as a head coaching opportunity. Uh, they didn't uh, this year. I was disappointed uh, for them in that. But, you know, one thing that we talked about uh, just amongst all of us. Is ah, the frustration. Baltimore Ravens code. Purple trim, big body, old school for low. Oh, goodness. It's how many signs do this dude need? How many? He did the same thing. Actually, his first year with Flacco. In the first year, you know, the offense coordinator, you got to feel a quarterback, got to feel a mouth, and vice versa. Flacco, time with the Ravens. Brought us one ring. Supposedly, should have been more. But one main problem was offense coordinator. Harbaugh has a problem with getting rid of offense coordinator and it's ridiculous. Flacco had Cam Cameron, Jim Cladwell, Gary Kubiak, which was great, best. Then you went from Mark Tressman to Marty Morganwig. And then we looking at in the years that Cam Cameron was there, those all of those years with Flacco was could have won multiple Super Bowls. How the defense was playing. That's how I'm just say that. But it took him a while just to get rid of it. And the first couple of years was run based. We didn't get really nowhere because we, when it was time to throw, there was no creativity. We're back to that again. And Harbaugh needs to step it up or step out. And hopefully EDC needs to see that. Hopefully EDC sees that. Because it is, it's ridiculous. Like, how are you going to say that in a press conference? Really? Just like, come on. If all those Raven fans, the fans, and I'm, I'm seeing it, the game is online because I'm in Texas. But to these fans that can afford to, that don't stay out there, that can fly, even the fans that's out there they work their hard money to go to these games even pay for NFL ticket and things like that and you keep giving us this trash excuse of an offense well we run in in that and in the press conference he was ready he had his stats and all of this well we're number one in points and this and that, and we're with it, and all of this. And I'm saying, here like, for the past three years, we did this and we did that. And what, how many rings did it get us? Nothing. All the blame is going to go on Lamar. Lamar saved your job, dude. Like he, you, your seat was literally had gas on it, and the match was falling, and Lamar swiped that mug for you, cause it was about to be burnt. It was burnt, and he saved it. And I'm like, oh my god, 
the history is there. And in the press conference as well, he got his little feelings hurt. You can tell, but I'm, I'm going to get to that a little later. But, like, what you first in the running for two years in a row. Cool. Your wide receivers are complaining multiple Wide receivers are complaining that it's not it. They ain't even saying just throw, 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 throw the ball. They just saying it should be balanced. Should be balanced. Every Raven fan says that it should be balanced. Cool, we number one rushing team, but it ain't getting us anywhere. He made a comment saying something about play action. And I believe the Buffalo Bills are top three, maybe one, in that play action. And you see what they did Saturday. They majority threw the ball. Pass, 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 pass. And they're still in. We're not. We shouldn't have to pass, 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 but at least be more creative in your play calling. And Greg Roman said, oh, he's going to change this and that. It was a little change, but not big. You got a Hall of Famer and a future Hall of Famer calling you out. Matter of fact, they talked about that, too, in the press conference. Let's take a listen. Passing offense. Uh, one of the specific criticisms you've heard from, from some analysts like Kurt Warner and Steve Smith is this idea that uh, – your route tree is, is somehow uh, simplistic, I guess, I guess is the term that's been thrown around. Um, do you see any validity in that? And, and also, do you expect to do any kind of sort of ground up overhaul of, of the passing offense like we've seen you do with other aspects of the teams in, in recent off seasons? No, I mean, I, I disagree with Kurt and Steve on that. And I love Steve and uh, I don't really know Kurt that well. But the passing tree, uh, we run all the routes on the passing tree. If they want to talk simplistically, the, 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 the quote unquote passing tree. We have every route in football, and we have every route concept in football. Um, we throw it. Okay. You have a Hall of Famer quarterback calling your offense coordinator out. You have a possibility, a future Hall of Famer wide receiver calling your offense coordinator and have been calling him out multiple times and you sit here and get like defensive well if they say it's simply to the okay he's a hall of famer quarterback if he's saying it's simple it's simple you have a wide receiver that does these right that that have done these routes to a T. Bowling. He was a Raven. Bowling. And he's saying it's simple. It's not creative. They're not saying that about other teams. They saying about your your offense coordinator and you are being stubborn about it. And that brings to mind that your brother was a San Francisco 49ers head coach. The one you beat in the Super Bowl in 2012. He started becoming stubborn. And look where he's at now in Michigan. And what is Michigan doing? And that's college. What are they doing? Nothing. Nothing. And you're being stubborn. Like, how many times do the fans, the media, Hall of Famers, ex-players... need to show you like dude you're being stubborn that's a problem you're wasting possibility the best 
quarterback the Ravens could ever have right now going from now to the future at a young in prime you're wasting his time by being stubborn or am I just tripping which I believe I'm not how and in his press conference, he kept talking, oh, he, he's so dynamic, Lamar is so dynamic and everything. He can be even more dynamic. He even said Lamar has a great arm, strong arm. He, they have a, a throwing arm. But you're 32nd in passing. And then also you put out a stat in your press conference saying, that for as a passing average in the league, you're about a, over a hundred and something, well, less than a hundred and something attempts through this football season. But you sitting there saying he can throw and everything, but you're not, you're holding him back. You, you just admit it to yourself that you're holding him back by the stats, but you're sitting here trying to defend your offense coordinator holding him back with that terrible play call. Oh, it's great running the ball. Congratulations. It's not bringing any rings. When you were the hit, when you was coaching Joe Flacco with Ray Lewis and Airy, and I, I don't care what nobody say, Ray Lewis, Airy, Terrell Suggs, hello, they nada. Even Flacco, they won that so. Harbaugh, I don't believe, I think he was just on a ride, mainly how it ended in 2011. And they went, and the cameras went into the back, and you see Ray in the middle talking to all the players, saying, we're going to be back here. Come on. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But, man... It's, it got to be fixed. Like, his stubborn can bring this organization down. I'm even getting to the point where if they don't let this, Eric DaCosta going to have to tell Harbaugh, Steve, Bashadi might have to hit up Harbaugh and be like, hey, we letting Greg Roman go. Okay, I heard what you said in the press conference. We letting this dude go. It's time to get something better or you will have to go you know because last time I checked Kansas City with Eric I believe he's still available some teams have traded coaches I'm just saying that stubborn is not bringing rings to this organization or you can join your brother since you done sent uh, uh, the linebacker and coach to him. And it's interesting how how they said Wink was getting, you know, a couple of interests. Possibility could still happen. But nobody talking about Greg Roman. They talked about him, what, last year that one time? And nobody hired him. But they still considering Wink. But they like, man, I don't know Greg Roman. Greg Roman, if they release Greg Roman, possibility he's going to be sitting there with uh, Earl Thomas at the the couch. But for them, because nobody wanted Earl. They don't want the headache. And that's what Greg Roman is, is a headache. But, man... I'm already not ready. With him, even him just saying that, I'm like, okay, 2021, don't even put no hope in just, oh, we might, we might can win the Super Bowl. Nah, it's gone. Until they fix that. And I feel like I'm stuck in time because I said the same exact thing about Cam Cameron. Until they fix it, we ain't going to win no Super Bowl. 
Ravens ain't winning no Super Bowl, fan. Fans, flock, we ain't gonna, we can't celebrate no Super Bowl anytime soon until that get fixed. It's on, it's on Greg Roman's resume. Harv is being stubborn. His brother was stubborn. Yes. Um, y'all tell me what y'all think. This junk is depressing. And I was having a good day. Let's